45 minutes long. Let's give this a go. Uh, I was going to skip past this, but I haven't seen it in so long. What will be on top of the building? Will it be Alex? There's really no way to know. Oh, I can tell you all about Aura's changes. Oh my god, it was Alex. And Hugo, too. And Hugo's butt. Why are they going to have a second impact tournament in 2015? So Sean has this thing where he builds meter even from light cars, I'm pretty sure. There's some weird mechanic going on. I don't know how it works. But like Sean gets like double meter build from with normals compared to other characters. But there's a trick to it and I don't remember the trick. You can't just hit normals and have it work. I'm pretty sure it involves a Kara. But he gets like super quick meter build from whiffing normals. Sean's super 3 in this game stocks two bars, which makes it pretty much his best super. It still has insanely fast startup like it does in second impact. I mean in third strike. But now you can stock two of them and the meter's a bit shorter. So you're going to land super slot more often. Especially because in this game it's a one frame link from his target combo. Whereas in Street Fighter 3 it's a zero frame link from his target combo. Unless you're fighting Makoto who's unusually wide. Target combo into super. Wow. That was a failed punish. His stun's a bit different in this game. Sean is actually top tier in this game. He plays a little bit like a ghetto Dudley. Yeah, individual character stages in this game. I forgot about that. That was just an America stage in Third Strike. That dash looks farther than it is in um, Third Strike. Sean's movement got toned down a bit. Missing links. That's the link to Super 3. It's pretty strong in this game. Ken is pretty much unchanged from Third Strike. Second impact to Third Strike. He's a high tier in this game, and he's a top tier in Third Strike, so it's mostly everyone else changed around him. The, the cast got better balance, so Ken, Ken became the, the character sticking the furthest out, even though he didn't change. Or not the most, but you know. Wow, that throw range. That's a throw that's gone in Third Strike. They changed that. That throw has a different animation. draw super because he didn't need anything else. Chun-Li doesn't exist in this game. Who else? Q. I think Remy. Um, Makoto. Yun is less broken, but still good. Yun is, has more shared attacks with Yang. He doesn't have his uh, Ganagin yet. Or he does have Ganagin, but it's different. It's not as good. Ken's step kick isn't that good, so it's not a huge loss. So here's Ryu with his two stocks of Denjin. You could hold two Denjins in second impact. Denjin pretty much is the same. But the fact that you can hold two of them is kind of good. Yeah, Yun still has crazy juggles. They're just different crazy juggles. They're not as crazy. Ganagian's crazy. Oh, can we see some good punishes? There are actually two air parries in second impact. One of them makes you bounce off the hit, and the other one makes you just, like, fall into the hit. The one that makes you fall in is air down plus... Or just air down. You hit down as you parry. Either parry will parry any hit when you're midair. You can do forward or down. Uh, it just depends on where you want to go. That was the down parry. They removed the forward parry, and they made the down parry into forward in third strike. Universal overhead is still there. It's just exactly what you described. It's just a different input. Functionally, it's pretty much the same. It's actually easier to link out of. They made it really hard to link out of in third strike. There it was. The Sean is pretty good. Sean is a very strong character in this game. He got nerfed in almost every regard. He has better normals that cause more damage and have less hits done. 
and or less 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 recovery. That's what I was trying to say. Like his crouch roundhouse recovery is so long in third strike. His stand fierce is so bad. Look at that, getting a cool link. His back roundhouse you can't cancel to anything because the pushback is enormous. They like nerfed every little part of him. I think that's a tar combo that was removed in third strike. Low short, low forward. Yang is still pretty good. That's the tar combo they eventually gave to Gen in Street Fighter 4. Kind of weird little connection. Gen and Yang, like, theoretically share a style. Is that Shoto forward throw that's gone now? I'm pretty sure you can do that Shoto forward throw in the corner into, uh, like, a super for a lot of the Shotos. It's very unusual to see some second impact play. I don't like any of the characters, voice actors. I'm pretty sure they got entirely new voice cast. That last wreck is different. Different animation. Oh, what the fuck? Was that air jump short? That was a really weird normal. It had the animation of jump short, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I'm going to jump forward. It's a different animation. Oh, he could have super jump canceled that, right? It might not super jump cancel in this game. You might just have to jump and get a juggle like that. I have no idea. Yang has a few more things in common with Yun in this game. They haven't fully separated his characters yet. They were literally the same character in Street Fighter 3 first. And now in second, um, they have some dissimilarities. Mostly their supers. Ah, uh, there you go. Some things never change. Oh. Is that the wrong version? What the hell? That was a weird mistake. He's using that like it's still safe. Probably still safe. You get it? Yeah, crouching opponent, universal overhead. You can link super 2. I mean super 3. That was a good reaction. Sean's super 3 is really crazy. Yeah, new generation. Excuse me. New generation, second impact, third strike. And then giant attack. What's the name of the one and two Dreamcast collab? Is that wheel kick? I think that move is still kind of shitty in this game, but I could be wrong. It's still pretty good at hitting opponents midair. But you can parry it on reaction, that's a problem. Someone stop this, Sean. Ryu throws a lot of fireballs. Ground fireballs are not that good in thir in Street Fighter 3. The building meter super quick. Look at it. I'm surprised that lasted through all three versions of Street Fighter 3. Because it was hotly contested. Building meter by whiffing normals. It was like a big problem in this game. I guess they thought it would be less of a big problem if they scaled back like the Sean and whatnot. It's really not that broken. It's just that it's consistently been strong characters who benefit from it. So like the characters who really benefit from whiff building normals are like Sean and Dudley in this game, who were both top tiers. And then like Chun Li, Dudley, Ken, and Yun in Street Fighter Third Strike, which are all top tiers. So it's like it's just unfortunately the characters who happen to have that are really good. But it's not really because of that, but it helps them. That's too far away to be threatening. Oh my god. He was a bit greedy by doing that many strongs. He had to wait and watch to be able to reaction parry. It's kind of nice that you can just do stand around house and link a super on reaction. But Sean is tearing it up. It's quite common in, th in second impact. Sean is very good. Sean is a better character in this game than the best character of Third Strike. This game is more unbalanced than Third Strike. 
And Sean is Sean and Ibuki are like the the two best. I'm pretty sure Ibuki's better than Sean is. Pretty sure second impact Ibuki is the most broken any character's been in the Street Fighter 3 series. That's that awful stand forward. Nice. I always really like the pink coloration, Sean. Wow, that universal overhead whiffs fast. Faster than third strike. It still has crazy good recovery, especially for an overhead in third strike, but that was even less. He could probably reaction link the super there on that same fierce. I think that's actually his back fierce. I don't remember. I think he has a couple fierces. Nice. Second a kill. Land two supers just win. He really should have done a, a basketball and then grabbed if the opponent tried for a parry. That was a very difficult situation to live if he just did that setup. It's weird that he didn't. Sean has a bunch of kind of useful things. He has a bunch of really broken things and a bunch of kind of useless things. In third strike, he only has the useless things. They nerfed all the things that were good. I think you can link uh, EX Tatsu into Super 3. I think that's a combo that he can do. I think Sean is very good. Especially considering he's fighting the Sean who previously got 8 wins in a row. I was a standing opponent on that universe overhead, so we couldn't link super, I think. Basketball, the taunt. Why is it an ABA basketball? Is that just the normal color of basketball in um, Brazil? Or is it the normal color of basketball in Japan? You can follow that basketball in if you get it up successfully. Even if you don't follow it in, it creates a situation where the opponent could slip up. It only does one point of damage. One point is the wrong word. It does like the equivalent of like chip damage. I just found this on Game Macho. I found a lot of the archives I watch on Game Macho. Ooh. It's not a punish. 100% safe. Pretty sure it's unsafe. EX Tatsu in third strike. Damn, that was a good comeback. He was down a lot. Different coloration of you. Might be the same guy. Did a round start fireball. You can see Sean went for the anti-air parry there, but Ryu actually whiffed his attack. Ryu, if he did empty jump throw, he would have grabbed, grabbed Sean quite easily because he was looking for that anti-air parry. Oh. We've, like, scarcely seen a dungeon. Nice hit confirm. Ken style. That hit confirm is still in the game. Sean can still do that in third strike. That series into that um, super. That was never removed. He can do it into any of his three supers, actually. He might not be able to do it to super two. But he can definitely do it to super one or three. Nice. That's a several frame link because crouching opponent. Huh. Look at that basketball doing work. It's a terrible trade, but the fact is that Ryu doesn't get any sort of Oki. And there's no downside to getting the basketball up. And there are other mix-ups where the basketball is more useful. It's literally Dudley's Rose.
Tried to do a media universe overhead, missed it. Nice. That super does so much goddamn damage. I was really hoping we'd see an Ibuki somewhere. But so far it's been mostly Shadows. There we go, it's a Dudley. Running Super 2. Super 2 is the the super of choice in this game because he can link it off of literally anything. Also, the meter's a bit shorter. Dudley still builds meter like a motherfucker. In fact, it's even faster in this game than it is in Street Fighter Third Strike. Super 2 links off of everything. Whoa, he hit the ball. Second impact of Buki has a super that you can link into out of anything and then combo out of. It's insanely fast and goes insanely far. It's basically a better Shippu. There's one of those weird Dudley Super 2 links. Dudley's quite a solid character without meter. So the fact that he's running a uh, one stock super isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, that ball doing work. He has to parry the ball. He couldn't go for an uppercut. It was a mistake. What the hell? Where's the combo? Dudley has like a weird infinite. I think it's crouching opponent only. But he can like do like... It's like... F like stand forward. It's like stand forward roundhouse repeatedly. It's like one of his target combos that he can just loop into itself. Dudley's quite dangerous when he has a super. Sean changed his play style once once Dudley built it up. Whew. It was a bit ballsy in third strike engine in Street Fighter 3 engine. I keep on wanting to just call Street Fighter 3 third strike because it's faster to say. But now it's inaccurate. It's nice. Ooh. That crutch fierce comes out faster in this game. Universal overhead. Ooh. Oh, he could have linked super. I'm pretty sure that's one of the links. Got him. Oh, I'm sure he had a he had got a punish there. That link can still win, but it's hard. Sean's options to chip him out are kind of scary, but chip out is not a huge deal in this game. But it is a deal. <laughs> That's it! Nice! There are a few infinites in this game. They're not super rare. Dudley has like better normals all around, but otherwise he's pretty similar. He's got more frame advantage, which means more links into super, super 2. I don't remember how red parries worked or even if they even existed in second impact. Ah, oh, the overhead. That overhead is still very slow. Their punish is kind of mediocre. I wonder what Sean's go to meterless punishes. Yeah, it has one button throws, doesn't it? Towards plus medium punch and shit. Street Fighter 2 style. It's not bad, it's just different. See, 
easier to OS throws into other stuff. And also it tends to it tends to debalance the game a bit. Because some characters are better at hiding throws in normals than others. Like some character will have an, a, a throw off of a button that anti is kind of well, so if they jump, try and jump out of a throw, they get hit by the anti-air button. How about that? Good old Street Fighter 3. That was a punish, pretty sure. The shadow roll. Kind of a weird decision. Corner himself. Kind of telegraphs too much to really use it like a... A mix-up. Hit someone from an unexpected side. Nice. Good link. The skill for this game compared to Third Strike is generally not as high, mostly because it hasn't seen as much play. I'm like kinda sure that Sean can do uh, EX tossing into Super. No one's gone for it yet, even when they have the bar. It might require a crouching opponent, or it might just not be possible and I'm misremembering. Very nice. That's like Sean's bread and butter max damage chicken confirm, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Land two supers and win. God, look at that. Oh, there's his uppercut. It's different in this game. He missed it, though. That was a very early air attack. Probably trying to catch the opponent parrying late. Generally, one timing of anti-air parry will catch any jump attack because there aren't that many times the opponent can hit a button. Ah. That cancel to the shadow roll was kind of funny. Totally up. Very nice. Not the thing. Standing opponent, but it might have been meaty. It's still linked. Can't believe how fast they recover in this game. You can do so much. That wasn't a punish, but it punished the forward dash. He, like, because he threw the basketball, he didn't have time to push actual Oki. But he tried to. So now we've got a different Sean tearing it up. But it's still Sean versus whoever. And it looks like we've got a bunch of Shotos plus Dudley and possibly a Yang somewhere. So this Sean's running Super 1 now. Super 1 is about as good in this game as it is in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I guess it's a little better because his normals are better, which means more link opportunities. But Super 1 is pretty much unchanged. Still got a really short meter requirement, still comes out really fast, still does about the same damage. In new generation, Sean was going to be the only Shoto. But they chickened out right at the end. It was only new characters, and they were like, if it's not, if Ryu and Ken aren't there, then it's not a new Street Fighter game. So they threw Ryu and Ken in at the last second. So there were three Shadows. And then Akuma snuck his way into Second Impact as a secret boss, and then Third Strike as a regular character. So there were four. There's a lot of debate on which Shoto is the best. The conventional order is Ken is better than Akuma is better than Ryu, and all of them are better than Sean. But arguments can be made that Ryu is actually quite good. 
like possibly definitely definitely a high tier candidate possibly a top tier candidate and arguments have been made for a while that Akuma is as good as as Ken but Akuma is a lot harder to play and a lot more volatile tends to die abruptly that was probably a failed super where he did the uppercut there how do you best that's punishable on third strike even on block or on block at nearly any range depends on the character punishing it but Ryu in third strike would be able to punish that super from that range. And it still looked pretty punishable, so I think Ryu probably could have done something. I'm going to be honest, I didn't want like a video of only Sean's. This isn't a bad video, but I was just kind of hoping to see like more character variety. Than Shoto's plus like occasionally not Shoto. Even though it is really neat to see Sean actually doing cool stuff. Very nice, this is going to kill. Even though I appreciate the opportunity to see Sean, Sean tearing it up. I would have liked to see a little bit of Ibuki. A lot of characters don't have their feet yet. Like, Aura doesn't have any of the things that will eventually make him a good character. He's still kind of okay in the spectrum of characters in this game, but he doesn't have any of his what will become his signatures. Yurian doesn't have very much of what will eventually be his signatures. Or like Elena. Elena still doesn't have really signatures, in, even in Third Strike. A lot of characters haven't like really found themselves. You know what I'm talking about? You know how like it kind of took it kind of took Jury a while in like Street Fighter 4 to figure out what kind of character she was, like between Jury players and Jury's weird tools, and then eventually they strengthened some tools and nerfed some tools, and Jury ended up being a pretty good zoner. Or like Goken, like Goken had a lot of tools that didn't really make sense. It's like, well, he hits hard, but what does he do in footsies? And no one was really sure. And then some things got buffed, some things got nerfed. And Goken had a distinctive playstyle. <laughs> DJ does just kind of suck dick. Some characters in Street Fighter 4 never really got their roles. I feel like Hakan is missing a special move. That's what he feels like when I play him. DJ has so many special moves that it's hard to say that he's missing a special move. I feel like DJ could have been like Bison, but they were just too afraid. I feel like D Bison was the character DJ was the closest to being, or like Guile. But they didn't want to make him more like either of those characters because those characters already existed. Ryu doesn't build meter nearly as fast. Ryu builds meter about as fast as characters do in Third Strike. DJ's just got a decent amount of personality. Nishot's personality. Nishot's a good example of something DJ does that pretty much no other character has. It's not that good though, that's the problem. They were too afraid of giving him a dive kick when other characters in the game already had a dive kick. Not only that, but the fundamental nature of how Nishot worked made it impossible to have charge after you land one. Which is probably the biggest problem with DJ is that all of his special moves are charge, and all of his combos to get to to get charge were kind of obnoxious to do. And you could avoid charge, but it was you could avoid having charge moves in your combos, but it was really stupid. I was like, okay, here's my knee shot into stand forward into low forward for my 200 damage. I don't, e I don't even think that would do 200 damage. 200 damage from a jumping combo. Everyone else in the cast gets 350. That's fair. Thanks, Capcom. The more I think about how Zangief should have a the more I think about Zangief in, in Street Fighter V, the more I'm certain that he should have a 5-frame sweep. Yang. 
A five frame sweep on Zangief would be literally perfect. It fixes everything. It gives him a better mix-up up close. It gives him a better tool for getting in from afar. License damage was low in general. That's not very low damage in the spectrum of Street Fighter 4. Same boo. The meter's a bit longer in this game, but it only lasts about as long. So it takes longer to build, but isn't really better. Oh, but like, um, if he could link into sweep, then he wouldn't need to care about... It would give him another thing to link into, so he wouldn't need to care about crouching or standing. Or like, he would still be able to... He would still need to care, because he'd want to link into Lariat if he could. And to stand short into Lariat. Um, but if, there, if it wasn't available because the opponent was crouching, then he could just do link into sweep instead. Oof. No, I don't think he got it. Why? Oh, leap attack. That made no sense. Why not just a punish combo? Oof. Jump back punches an ATR. Anyway, it would give him a better mix-up up close. It would fix his link combos, whereas right now he's the only character who can't get like a link combo at all in some contexts. Um, it would keep in. It would keep with the theme of him being really unsafe because it's quite a punishable sweep. It would keep with the theme of him being really unsafe. Um, but it would give him another mix-up option. It would increase his like mix-up options when he got close. So it would help him bend FR and footsies. It would fix his combos and it would like not. It like it would still be like if you predict Zangief, you punish him. But if he predicts you, he punishes you. And it would make him more like Zangief from old Street Fighter games. Zangief in Street Fighter 2 could link stand short into sweep, and it was like a really common combo he used. Look at that little juggle. That juggle exists in Street Fighter 3rd Strike as well. I've never played a Fatal Fury game at all. There was the Tatsu link into... Uh, it was Nani X Tatsu. It was a Tatsu link into super. And damn it, it didn't do some damage. Oh, I missed it. I wonder how Yang's dive kick compares in this game to Third Strike. This Yang seems to be very dive kick unhappy. There we go. That was a nice use of dive kick. Bait the anti-air by using the low dive kick. Twins have such good dive kick options. Oh, I missed it. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the chat, I guess. I like that Sean color. The red one. Yes, it's DP! It's so weird. They removed the second hit in Third Strike. They like changed the whole animation in order to remove the second hit. Build meter rather than killing the opponent. I like that actually. The yellow Sean has got more meter to build. So he benefits more from both of them building meter. Because he's going to get a total amount of meter that's greater. It's an intelligent decision right there. Yeah, Sean's DP is a lot like A-Dash's. Oh, low profile. There isn't a lot of true low profile in, there's in Street Fighter 3. Only like a couple slides and things. A Buki slide for sure. Wow. Interesting. You can't quick stand that because it's a super knockdown. So it looked safe. That's probably a punish. Nice. Very high connect, but super is so fast that it doesn't matter. That's gonna kill. Nerf. Why is his damage up with that high? Why is his meter build that good? And a sweep can low profile. Usually it's just people hitting buttons, assuming the opponent won't be crouching because you have to stand block jump ins. 
So if you hit an early air attack, it's like, well, they're going to stand block because we're not going to crouch block an air attack. So profiling was fun. It's still in 5, but it's a lot more rare. It's a lot more rare. Like Chun Li's low strong. I'm really struggling to think of that many examples. Technically, Birdie's down towards Fierce has it, but it's like. It's really hard to use it like that. Fung's Floor Hump, I think, just has true invincibility. His Coward Crouch has um, low profile, though. Fung's Coward Crouch is actually insanely good. Both for what it can avoid and what you can do out of it. That little kick thing has frame data that's more akin to Street Fighter 4 attacks than 5 attacks. He could just link out of it on reaction into pretty good little combos. I need to double check Fung's dash, command dash, because I don't actually know how it works. I'm pretty sure it's just like Abel's roll, where it's got like full body invincibility, but doesn't have frame one startup unless you EX it, and it can always be thrown. Yeah, he's he. I feel like he's lacking a... Um, I feel like his damage isn't high enough. I feel like if they buffed his damage, he'd be okay. I feel like his awkwardness is fine. I think I think people will adjust to his awkwardness in time, but there's no reason to right now. Because even if you adjust to it, he's not that good. I just wish he did more damage. They assumed you would get more damage from poison, but it's just too hard to zone in Street Fighter V right now. That reminds me, I need to play some Guile in Street Fighter V. I'll do some ranked. Probably soon. Probably in a couple days. I'll like rank up with Guile. Gotta learn how to play him. It took them three versions of Street Fighter 4 for them to add a character I liked, and five versions for them to add a character I loved. Is that what you would change, Sephiroth? Make it like DP plus punch to get uh, those fireball, the double fireball? That's actually, I kind of like that change. It's a relatively innocent, innocuous one. That move is really good, though. Or I don't know if it's really good, per se. Akuma. I thought Akuma wasn't selectable in this game. Or rather, I thought only Shinakuma was playable. This might be Shinakuma. I need him to throw an air fireball. Oh, that was only one. I don't know if he had double air fireballs in Street Fighter 3. I don't know how the commit works in this game. That dive kick looks really good. Force stand is like not concrete yet. I don't know how it works. Whoa, Super 3. You almost never see that. I actually like Fung's V trigger. It doesn't change enough. That's the problem I have with it. Well, I don't know if that's the problem I have per se. I guess I would like if it, it powered up his special moves too. Like if it made them do more damage or something. It's really cool that you don't even need to touch an opponent to poison them. The, fa the fact of the matter is once you're V-triggered with Fung, the opponent's going to lose. You're going to get like 100 damage just off that. Even if you don't even land any meaningful hits. The poison adds up. I don't know if Akuma has KKZ in this game. I'm pretty sure he has Raging Demon. And he definitely has his, all his normal supers.
That poison? They didn't know how much damage poison was appropriate. I think they overestimated Fung's ability to keep out most of the cast. Because the poison is really stupid against characters like um, Zangief. Or maybe just Zangief specifically. And actually the Nishi Q is really good against Zangief too. Fung like counterpicks like a couple characters. And then is ridiculously garbage at zoning everyone else. Oh my god, meter drain. That'd be neat. His V skill isn't special enough either. It's too easy to poison the opponent to make V skill meaningful. You know what I would like? If V skill poison drained your health fast as fuck. So there's like a real incentive to get out of the way. Like, if V scale did all the damage it was gonna do in like three seconds. I don't know how I'd buff Laura. I feel like I wouldn't buff Laura. I feel like I'd leave Laura alone. Attacking on would be okay, but that would still be kind of weak, I think. I think anyone... I think the only characters worth buffing right now are probably Fung and Zingief. And possibly Guile and uh, Alex. But I only, I only say that because I don't know for sure if they're not shitty yet. Guile feels pretty good. That was really, honestly, a terrible super. I don't know if Guile has a bad matchup, though. I've literally only played Guile against other Guiles, plus, like, a couple of Sephrix characters. Right? Did we do a Guile? I don't remember. Guile versus... Oh, I ran I ran the set. I ran against... It might not have been you, Sephrix, but I ran Guile against other characters in the lobby afterwards. Yeah, Alex is anti I'm done with that. That's a good change. His Alex's stand jab should be as good as Chun Li's stand short. Fight me. I'm okay with Zangief not having green hand. They just didn't do a good enough job about him not having that. Oh, speed up boom recovery. Interesting. I was playing with boom and it felt fair. Maybe I'd wish it was faster later on. See, I don't know how Gal's gonna fight like Kami. I don't know if that's a good, good or bad matchup. That matchup is usually really terrible for Gal. It might be different in this game, but I just pick Kami specifically because her EX drill is really good at punishing projectiles, and so is her retrigger drill. So it's like if Kami can just like react, react punish Sonic booms, that's gonna affect the matchup a lot really badly. I will say it's phenomenal to be able to flash kick a, a drill on reaction and like know in your in your heart that it's gonna hit. That's such a big change from the last game. Kami's drills were such a problem for Gal, or not drills, but her dive kicks. And now Gal, now Gal just shuts down her air game. So Gal's like better at fighting Kami meterless, but Kami's better at fighting Gal with bar. But the matchup is probably going to be really similar. But like being able to fight better meterless is more important. There are probably other components of the matchup that have changed quite a lot. Kuma's really interesting and different in this game. Loses to Bison. I was thinking about Gal versus Bison, and I was like, what the fuck does Bison do about V-Skill Fireballs? Like, literally, what does Bison do about those? The Raging Demon. It worked. That was really far out. What the hell did Sean do? Why couldn't he jump? Did he try to super? My favorite Street Fighter is Sid Strike. Street Fighter 5 and 4 are both very near and dear to my heart. But Sid Strike is my favorite by far.
let's find a third strike combo video really fast. I mean a second impact combo video. Because they're really neat. I think this is the famous one. I think both of these are the famous one. This one guy made two of them and they're insane. Pride. Like, where does the combo video start? I could see Gal Root being bad. Bison's options against the multi-hit fireball seem really terrible, though. Jump over it. Gal can follow that in. I guess he can jump into it over it from close. Gal's answer to head stomp kind of sucks. Does is 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 air throw not a viable viable option anymore? Because I used to be what I did every time in Street Fighter Four. The Hinako combo video. The Wolf combo video. That's my favorite combo video. Oh, look at that! What an odd link. No, 100%. What about early jump strong? I gotta fool around with that. This is that situation. I don't know if EX clap reset struggle potential, or I don't know what the fuck's going on. But that's Hugo's quote unquote infinite. He actually burns bar to do it, so it's not infinite. I've had good success jumping on reaction and even in Street Fighter V with other characters. When I play the mirror I do hell attack to beat it and it works quite reliably. And flash kick doesn't work? Light flash kick? Or is it just the issue of needing down charge? This combo is very strange. Oh, he didn't do it. There's like one Yun combo where he does a bunch of up kicks. I guess that was it. Down charge is kind of hard to get. I can see that would be a problem. I didn't even think about Devil's Reverse. But yeah, that would bait Flash Kick. Oh, this link. You can link out of uh, the X Tackle on this game. I missed that. I shouldn't have removed that. Your int voice is very unusual in this game. Aegis, reflect that. It's very unusual in third strike, I suppose. Very interesting that EX up only hits one time. EX up butt. I'll do some research. I'm usually real good at that sort of thing. Find something that works. I, I immediately thought it would be a good matchup for Galib only because of the V skill. I figured V skill would see a lot of use in that matchup. So that was just a kill combo. Ah, uh, some Dudley links into Super 2. You get juggles in the corner.
you actually still get the juggles in the corner even in third strike. A lot of people don't know that much about Dudley Super 2. When I think of Bison's options against like a fire, like a multi-hit fireball, it seems like the only thing he would really um, do about it is either ex ex stomp it to instant devil's reverse, which is you know not a punish and requires meter, um, or just block it. Like his only real option to deal with something like that, because he lost ex scissor kick and he he his V skill only works against single hit fireballs. Ah, that was cool. And a super doesn't punish it or anything. I guess he can dash through the fireballs. That's probably pretty hard, right? That's already pretty difficult. And that's the slowest fireball in the game. I like had a hard time doing it with like Ryu's fast fireball. Oh yeah, I forgot about V-Trigger Scissors. I forgot that was something it did. Very cool. That was a completely retarded combo. Ah, his second impact chaining. His attacks did a lot less pushback in this game. I can't believe that's a combo. Oh yes, this is it. This is the infinite. Low strong second jab into upper. What a weird infinite. It's dizzy opponent only, but you can get a touch of dizzy, as just demonstrated. Gal counterpick Chun? Holy fuck. I gotta learn. I gotta go beat up Bootsy. Gotta play him until I understand the matchup. That's really good because those are problem characters. If Gal handles them well, then that changes everything. That's parable. That was blockable or parable. I don't like these resets in a combo video. I like resets like that in a combo video. I'm okay with those. Resets to unblockables are cool. They get exempt. He could have quick stood that. There was no super knockdown on the second one. 
Ah, oh, Ganagian combos are quite different in this game. You can actually do resets like that and even in Street Fighter Third Strike. Fuck, I keep on calling it almost saying Street Fighter 3. Like this isn't Street Fighter 3. The resets don't reset damage scaling in Third Strike, but they reset it somewhat in uh, Second Impact. You can do uh, dash punch uh, Ganagian combos in Third Strike, but you avoid them if you can. Because the dash punch, the dash oh, 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 kind of scales damage too much. I got the coyote. I submit my uh, sure you can blogger application today. Or not my application, my contract. I've already applied. They've already basically said they'll, you know, I made it. So it's almost official. I also, I almost officially work for sure you can. And then I'm going to be set up with the sure you can YouTube channel and then I'm going to start making some videos for it. I made some preliminary, ooh, Oro. It's going to be a glitch. Hell yeah. He fell off the stage. Or his dog. Or his parrot. Or has lots of pets. Bugs like this are actually still in third strike. In fact, Sean, while doing his win pose, can parry. This one's classic. If he gets really confused. I really love that bug. Effie, where are you going? I know. It's alright, I'll just change my name. No one knows how many times I've done that. Could be zero, could be 20. Get too popular, change my name. Out of my way. If he's cute. 